Hi, I'm Ellen with artsyprettyplants.com and today I've got a new video out where I'm going to show you how to make a cement bird bath. And the fun thing is is that I found this uh, plastic form from the dollar store, literally just a dollar, and it made such a cute um, bird bath. So another easy one to make and I've got the materials listed below and you can also go to my website and get the full written tutorial there as well as a whole bunch of other project tutorials that you may like and if you like this video please hit subscribe you'll be notified of any other upcoming videos that I have and if you have any questions please ask me in the comments below I am happy to help you figure this out if you run into any any hitches along the way so let's get started Start by mixing the cement to a consistency of a thick shake. You want it to be a consistency where you're able to pour it into the mold. You're going to need a good bit of cement mixture for this. Please don't dump all the cement in at once. Mix it up in batches. I used a 16 ounce cup for scooping and ended up mixing up 6 or 7 cups in the end. Once you have mixed the cement well enough so there are no lumps, you can pour it into your dollar store mold. You'll see in a minute that I didn't make enough mixture initially, which could have been a problem because the cement cures so quickly. So I quickly made another couple of batches. What I should have done is I should have filled my bowl about three quarters of the way full, and that would have been enough. Push the mix down and pat it into the petals, and then shake and tap the mold to get it all in there evenly. It's very important that you made enough mixture that the petals overflow and have fully covered the dividing pieces between them. This is its weakest point, so you want the area over the dividers to be thick. The air bubbles will rise to the surface as you're tapping and shaking. Feel free to pop any that don't pop automatically. Now take the second mold and press it down on top of the cement and be sure to line it up. You'll need to press firmly. I added my weight to it as I pressed. Some cement will spill over the edges and this is okay. Just wipe off the excess and be sure to get it all or it will make the mold difficult to remove. Wait at least three hours for this to cure. Waiting a day is probably better if you're patient enough. This rapid set cement officially cures in an hour but achieves greater strength over time. So please wait at least three hours. Once my cement had cured, I removed the mold. If you need to turn this upside down to remove it, then I recommend putting a towel underneath to support it. Go ahead and file and sand any sharp edges. The birds will appreciate it and it'll make it easier to paint. I wiped the bird bath off with a damp paper towel after filing and sanding so that it would remove any leftover grit and dust to make it easier for painting. Now it's ready to paint. I added paint to a bowl and used a soft two inch paintbrush that I got from a craft store. You can paint the whole thing if you'd like, but I chose to paint just the top and the petal edges. The last thing I did was seal the painted areas of the bird bath to protect the paint using a concrete sealer. Once it's dry, you can fill it with water. I hope 
you enjoyed that tutorial. If you have any questions on how to make this bird bath, please ask me in the comments below. I am happy to answer. And again, just a reminder, you can check this out on my website, artsyprettyplants.com. The full written detailed tutorials there, as well as some other really fun and unique projects. And click subscribe to be notified of any of my upcoming videos. Thank you again so much for, for watching.